Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this photo right here. Concord High School ordered to turn over records as lawsuit over sexual assault allegations proceeds. Plaintiff's attorney says unrelated case shows how district handles allegations. Concord High School has been ordered to turn over records about how it handled a past sexual assault allegation as a lawsuit involving an unrelated allegation proceeds. The lawsuit was filed against Concord High administrators and district officials by a student's father on behalf of his daughter, Karen Hughes, the plaintiff's attorney said the lawsuit is an attempt to bring changes to how the school responds to similar situations. She's doing relevantly well, but it's been a very long journey for her, Hughes said of the daughter. Hughes said her client is dealing with the lasting effects of what she said took place on November 29th, 2017, according to the lawsuit filed by the then 17-year-old's father, a male student sexually assaulted her daughter by groping and kissing her on a school bus. Hughes said the district learned of the alleged assault the next day. The reports of her sexual assaults were not responded to appropriately or adequately, Hughes said. The lawsuit accuses the school of taking months to investigate the claim, which allowed for several run-ins between the teenager and the boy she accused of assaulting her, which led to her requesting to go to a different high school for the remainder of her high school career and ultimately led to this lawsuit to bring about change in Concord High School, Hughes said. In federal court, Tuesday, Hughes requested policy records from the high school for the 2018-2019 school year. She said she wanted to know how the district handled another case involving alleged sexual assault between a teacher and student. That case ultimately led to the superintendent and high school principal going on leave. Defense attorneys push back, saying the two cases are separate, but the judge granted the request. Observably, it's a different situation than student on student, but I think the way they handled it inappropriately was the same, Hugh said. Hughes said it could be a long time before the lawsuit goes to trial. An attorney representing the school district declined to comment. And that does it for my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.